morning. It's uh, about five minutes after three. got in the news today Fujiyama or whatever it is has been raised to a disaster of seven and they're moving people away from it more and more A 7.1 earthquake yesterday. Aftershock. I don't think it's an aftershock, but okay, whatever. And there was another fire at the nuke plant up on top of one of the roofs. But it's not clear if it was the aftershock that caused it. been a busy three days I've been uh, throwing up some videos uh, about an hour and a half uh, northeast of us here they had a uh, had a tornado hit uh, Mapleton Iowa yeah, pretty much destroyed the uh, entire town. And we never did get any rain out of that, out of that, that whole day. That was the day it was, uh, we ended up with a high of 88. I knew there were going to be some tornadoes around from that shit. You don't, you don't get up to 88 degrees in April. And let's see what was Coast to Coast talking about while I was in the shower this morning. Oh, they had a nuclear. Uh, a nuclear specialist on. According to him, the United States government is introducing radiation into the drinking water. But I didn't quite understand what he was trying to say as to why. Is that like maybe we can build up a tolerance to it? I have no idea. Uh, the host of it said, oh, what a great way for population control. And the so-called expert stated, yes, you're exactly right. Yeah, it was George Norrie. Yes, you're exactly right, George. Lights are out on the bridge again.
You know, after watching the news for three days off and on, because I had three days off, so I stayed pretty much in tune. And I'm watching all the different channels. As a matter of fact, um, is it this morning I got to watch the BBC. Eh? I always enjoy watching them liberal bastards. They'd be as good as CNN. Or Fox on the other extreme. Yeah, somebody was telling me, oh, I just don't watch the news anymore. And it's like, ah, oh, dude, you, you can watch the news. You just got to realize where they're coming from with their slant. And if something piques your interest that much, then you go look it up online and try, try to find some confirming sources or what have you. This is going to be opened up next weekend, the stadium. It's going to be Creighton University's uh, home field. And first team they're having in is uh, University of Nebraska, and it's going to be sold out. So, or it's already sold out. It's sold out within two hours of the ticket sales going up. And I think that's this weekend. Creighton's got to play Kansas State, but I'm not sure when that is. Yeah, whatever. I forgot where I was. Oh yeah, you gotta look up. You gotta look up for more information and if you're gonna do a rant on it then at least back your rant up with several sites, not just well CNN says this. <coughs> I mean, I'll do that, but, and the reason I'll do that, and I won't just say, well, CNN says this, I'll say, okay, the wackos at CNN say this. That's how I am when I'm conversing. So let's see here. Uh, Oh, there's a piece of, there is a piece of happy news. Yep. Can you believe it? Them, them two over in England. William and whatever. Are going to be getting married. Woohoo! Every time the chick gets out of the car, the people just, oh! And they were fainting and dropping like flies all around them. Like yeah, she's kind of nice looking, but geez, come on. Or maybe they're doing that for Prince William or whatever, whichever one of the brats it is. I, 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 yeah, I don't claim to ever try and keep them straight. A brat is a brat. seen this red light over here I thought there was somebody in the grass 